Make sure you go to AshKicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. We turned it around, everything was against us. Mikey was so dominant in this fight. Right. Controlled the entire 12 rounds. I mean, honestly, Broner probably won maybe just one round. If you give him one or two, that's, that's not your thing. You're getting time by giving him two. And Mikey stuck to the game plan. Was that the game plan? He just never made mistakes and uh, and he fought smart. You know, like Mikey says, you know, people, you guys still haven't seen the best out of Mikey. Uh, the better the fighters, the better he's going to perform. Hey, Robert, congratulations. Man, that was a dominant performance. What what did you guys do to nullify Broner? I mean, because you know he wasn't letting his hands go. It had to be partially something that you guys did. Mikey's 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 a great fighter, man. Like like Mikey said, you know, on the outside when they see him, they don't see too much on Mikey. But Mikey Mikey's very smart. Mikey knows when to land. He sees every punch. He said it before. You know, he you know he he sees how his, how his uh, opponents are are performing just by the just by the way they're breathing. You know, Mike is very smart. Mike has a talent that very few fighters in boxing have. You know, on the outside, he seems very basic, but when he's in there, it's a totally different story. Yeah, and you, 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 what was that? Uh, look, look, I'm gonna uh, you know, I'm, Mike is not gonna speak out, but. On 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 Thursday, the day of the press conference, they they had us up at seven at seven in the morning, which is four o'clock for us. He had, yeah, to, yeah, he, yeah. Had to, he had to do radio interviews. He had to do some photographers, you know, that had nothing to do with the, with the promotion. They kept us up until the press conference, and then they had us waiting for one for one hour outside in the street for our ride. You know. We come in, I ask, you know, who's, who's going to be in, you know, who's walking out first? Oh, Mikey is. Okay, so that means Mikey's going to be introduced second. They went and checked, they came back saying, oh, no, Mike, you know, Mikey's going to be introduced first. So everything was against us, you know. Mm. Mikey was asking for one fucking credential yeah, yeah. for his best friend, and they wouldn't give him that one credential. That. Everybody else had credentials, man, for, for his best friend, one credential. I'm lucky, I'm, 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 I'm really good friends with Lud Bella. He gave me 10. Lou Duvela gave me 10, but Mikey couldn't get one. Is Keith Thurman the toughest guy at welterweight for Mikey What was that? Keith Thurman, is he the toughest guy? Yeah, Sean, uh, Sean Porter stuff. Uh, what was the guy? Earl Spence, Earl Spence is probably the best. You know, Danny, Danny Garcia is also there. There's quite a few. You know, everybody's tough at welterweight. They're yeah, all yeah. great fighters, man. So you think Mikey fighters. drops down to 135 or remains at 140? What would you like what, for Mikey? What's, what would what's you at like? 135, man? You know, I know, Lenares you know, or yeah. possibly Lomachenko jumps okay. up. But Look, Lomachenko. Like Mikey said, it, uh, if he really wanted to, he'd be a 135. Now this fight would be a 135. He's fighting a guy that just lost at the featherweight division, yeah. so he's not showing signs that he wants to move up to 135. That's I'm not making it up. You know what I mean? I don't know about Linares. Besides that, there's nothing else. Mikey's not gonna wait or, or chase anybody. So more likely, I probably see Mikey fighting a watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Said he would love Mikey to fight the winner of Linares and his camel. See, that's awesome. When are they fighting? Uh, September, I believe. So then it won't be it won't be before the end of the year because if, be they're, fighting, L- if I mean, they're fighting in September, in Mikey, uh, you know we want Mikey to fight again uh, again in, in before the end of the year. So if they're fighting in September, then more likely they, that fight won't be till next year. Probably. Realistically, then, who's, who do you have in mind? You know, you Mikey. Mikey Linares, happy, you know, Linares fighting in September, right? At the end of September, then that means mm. he won't fight Mikey before the end of the year. Mikey wants to fight one, uh, before the end of the year one more time. So if it's it, it won't be against the United, so let's count him out. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey wants is there. Is he, no, <laughs> I don't know. Probably. Exactly, so I don't know. It's, it's up to yeah, all the names you know, already, yeah. you know, whoever, whoever they may, you know, whatever they offer Mikey, and our best option might be a watch away. So hopefully Lomachenko, if he wins? Lomachenko's not going to have 135, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Not at all. You know, we know Mikey. We had, you know, we had, we had sparring partners that were very strong, that were very, very talented, that were, that were fighting, that, that were weighing 160, 165, and Mikey was able to do everything that he, that, uh, that he wanted to do, the game plan we had, he did in the gym, and, uh, and now in the fight, the, the fight was the easy part.